All right, today we're going over seven signs that your fat loss or bulking diet is actually crap. And it is fascinating. Everybody gets geeked on the idea of biohacking, which is awesome, except it sucks because it never really does much in terms of results, but your body is actually amazing and it'll tell you exactly what's going on internally. But it's also kind of depressing when you realize how many nutrient deficiencies you have. So let's gamify it. I'll tally up mine. You count yours along the way, throw it in the comments. And the one with the most, I'll send them a shirt if they're not dead in a week. Believe it or not, you can learn a lot from your fingernails. For instance, if you have these white spots, these white spots. It's your body's way of telling you that you're deficient in something, but probably not what you think. When I was a kid, I was told it's because I needed more calcium. So my mom bought me a shitload of Yoohoo's. It's fucking delicious, but wrong. It's actually a sign you're deficient in zinc, which is either due to stress, GI issues, but more often than not, you just went too hard in the paint during a cheat meal, had too much sugar at one time, and your nails grow in a six month cycle. So you can actually pinpoint the week when you ate yourself into a coma. Are zinc deficiencies bad? I don't know, let's Google it. If not addressed, can result in hair loss, eye skin lesions, delayed wound healing, and hypogonadism and impotence. You should be fine. Now, if you have little vertical ridges on your nail, shit, I got this one too. That either means you're lacking in iron, calcium, or a bigger issue, you're not getting enough protein in your diet. But at least I don't have horizontal lines. That's either a thyroid disease or syphilis. Understand, I'm giving you a great power here. So it's your responsibility to take this information and judge people harshly. Let me give you a couple more nutrient deficiencies that you should be on the lookout for. You ever seen somebody has cracks in the corner of their lips? I just assumed that everybody had herpes. Turns out they're deficient in B2. I need some good old ribble flavin. Those same people are probably gonna have cracked heels and bloodshot eyes. Another interesting one happens when you brush your teeth. If your gums bleed, it might not be that you have gingivitis. Could be that you just need a little more vitamin C. Now, what about those dreaded protein farts? I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. I don't like to use B-roll footage that other people shot or stock footage from one of those sites, so I was having trouble figuring out how I was gonna illustrate this. Then it hit me. Took an old picture of one of my ex's buttholes, zoomed into 4,000%, so Layla, thank you for your service. Funny enough, more often than not, the protein isn't what's causing it. It's carbohydrates. The likely culprit is your unknowingly ingesting FODMAPs, which are types of carbohydrates that pass all the way through to your large intestines where they're broken down by bacteria that lives in your colon. When they do this, they release hydrogen, causing gas, cramping, bloating, sometimes horrible constipation, other times violent diarrhea. It's a real gamble. If you're sitting there thinking, I know protein farts are real, I've ruined people's day with them. I know, me too. But it's still usually FODMAPs. Especially if you're drinking a lot of protein shakes. They actually had to put lactase in this 100% way because they knew there's enough lactose in here to ruin your life. But you're right, there are times where you pass something, you start wafting and I'm getting hints of egg. I haven't had eggs in God knows how long. That's happening because your body's unable to process the amount of protein you're taking in. Normally, it's supposed to get digested in your stomach and your small intestines, but now it's making its way all the way to your colon and the only way to digest it is fermentation, giving you a case of the rancid ass. That's your butthole crying out for help. So listen, start adding in digestive enzymes, pre-probiotics, to help your body digest the ungodly amount of protein you take in. I don't know about you, but I think I scored a solid five. Good news is all of this can be fixed with supplementation. It's that simple. Which brand should you buy? I don't know. Go to Whole Foods, go down the supplement aisle and ask somebody that works there. They're pretty easy to identify. They're the ones that made their clothes out of hemp and they smell like aluminum free deodorant and asshole. If you need help building some serious muscle, I'd watch this video next, or I'll link some of the programs below. Again, they're all 30 days, 20 videos, 20 bucks. Pretty damn simple. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after to get growing. Talk to you soon.